What type of roaches I dealt with? These roaches, they ate. They fucking ate. The first time I ever smoked a roach. Hey, yeah, no, I can't stay at you. I might be all wrong before my heart. You What's good, B-Squad? I'm back at y'all with another video, and this video is obviously a little different. It's a lot going on in this video, so in order for me to get it all in there, I had to put what I felt was the most relevant part of the video in the title so I could tell that story and tell y'all all the other magnificent and f***ed up stuff that I have to tell y'all. So, let's get into the seriousness. First on the hit list, other than my, what you call it, story down here about one of the most disgusting things I've ever Ooh. done in my life <laughs> as a person on the planet. Um, let's get into my girlfriend. A lot of y'all been asking me about my girl and where she been, what she doing, and what we doing. So, she is actually out of town right now. She's not where I'm at. I came here to what you think, do Do exactly what we did. Make all the fucking money. And then call for my girl. But don't get it twisted. My baby back home making bands on her own. Ooh, it's over with. I told her about y'all. I let her know every time y'all ask. But yeah, my baby good. She back home. She waiting on y'all. And when we get together, like I said, Copa Channel coming soon and we with all the motherfucking bullshit. The second thing I got to tell y'all other than this disgusting story down here is a surprise everybody keep asking about it, but it's a good thing because i love y'all so with that being said let's do it baby what you doing what you mean stuff girl what you doing okay well with that being said i need you to do me a favor would you mind giving like a hey how you doing i'm doing good you know okay you can start talking now okay. since you want to be our child i'm gonna bleep that out go speak to these people and stop playing with me you to see me do this for oh you oh my gosh Stop being a little hey, y'all. She alive. Jesus. Well, look, she doing fine. Still irritating the f out of me, but she's doing great and amazing as a person, and she alive and everything. Y'all will see her real soon. Let's get into the next set of sh <laughs> Me, personally, about that, <laughs> I don't give a f <laughs> I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because I am a wonderful person. <laughs> My people, my fans, my fan base, my army. My, I don't like saying fan base. We're not going to say fan base. We're going to say army or a militia or a cult or some shit. But we're not going to say fan base. That's not about to happen. I don't know. It just sounds really f***ing tick. You know what I'm saying? It, but anyway, the hate ain't f***ing about that. I don't care. I don't care. You know what we do to haters on Instagram? On my Instagram? F. Ryan Robinson Comedy. Link in the description. You know what we do? We jump them. Don't hate on me. Because I will come at you. I will talk about your mama and your auntie and your grandma and your little kid, your baby. And we'll fight you. I'm not scared. I will box you. And I ain't talking about with gloves. I'm talking about with hands. So, um, yeah, we cool with that and all of that. I don't care about the hate. If I happen to come across it, I will ignite your Ooh. and it will happen and it will hurt. So, uh, <laughs> next. Literally seconds before I even cut the camera on to start the first half of the sh we hit 34,000 followers on Instagram and we hit 21k on YouTube last night. So what the f <laughs> what are they talking about? Nothing. Nothing. B Squad, everybody comment that in the comments. Comment W five times. Pick which one. B Squad once W five. I don't give a f pick which one you need. But yeah, man, we doing good. Everybody grow it. I love y'all so much. You know your boy ain't gonna stop because I'm here every day. <laughs> Now this right here is obviously the biggest part of the story that everybody was waiting on or wanted to hear about at some point. My first time ever in history or life eating a damn roach. Well, y'all already know, back home at my old humble abode, my old crib or wherever the hell I was staying as far as you know, I had a roach problem. I made countless videos flicking roaches, <laughs> attack of the roaches, indestructible roaches. Y'all remember that? Everybody remember the hard roaches, the roach that don't die? The one I stepped on, he didn't pass away. He just like squiggled on the back and the f up under something. I don't understand it either. But my first time eating a roach, man, it was tragic. See, in that house, we had an epidemic of them bitches, like for years. Rats. It was just all types of sh. Every time you went through something to do something or whatever the it was, it was something. And roaches was a very bad and serious part of what was going on in that little, that little area I call the, the home. Now, with these roaches came very many other threats and things in life. Like people knowing my worst situation with a roach, I didn't say sh anyway. So to be the person that don't say sh that make videos on the internet and talk to a camera for a living, you are going to be the outcast. You gonna be the person on the outside that don't nobody want to with. And you got roaches at home. You tend to want to keep them motherfuckers at the crib and nowhere else with you. But that wasn't the case with mine. My roaches like to travel. They love to go places. They like to get out and get some of that natural air. And apparently they like to do it with the motherfuckers. 
that day is terrorizing, which was me. My worst experience, what happened? I looked down, crawled out my backpack, and I just threw the whole bag to the back of the room. We was in chemistry, I just threw the whole bag to the back of the room. Book bag, shelf, everything. I just threw the whole set up in the back of the room and just didn't know what happened. They was like, whoo, whoo, uh -huh. Bro, what happened? Mm -hmm. I don't know, nothing. I was just laying here one minute and the desk just, whoo, just went to the back. Like, now, with you having the understanding and the concept of what type of roaches I dealt with, these roaches, they ate, they fing ate. Like, I've had some dark ass nights, nigga, where I've literally felt shit on my face. It was bad. It was so bad. So, you know what it feel like to be here where I don't have to fing see roaches? I don't see them at all. I can set juice down on the floor and not worry about got bugs in it and shit. So, yeah, it became a very, very, very funny thing because I didn't with depressed. What? I live in this am I depressed for? Now, I mean, I didn't like it, but I made fun of it. I used to get them little was high. I used to get them so high, I would always catch a roach and put it in a bottle and just... You know what I'm saying? So that was like a normal thing. But with the food situation, I have seen it all. I've had roaches in my cereal. When I pull out the box, one or two just then fell out that... Now in this situation, right here, that one down there, um, one night I had went outside, got high, and I came in the crib, and um, you know you're hungry. When you get high, it ain't like smoking cigarettes. I ain't never smoked cigarettes or blacks, but I know I know they don't make you hungry. They don't make you nothing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give me something to eat, give me some snacks. So I went to the kitchen, I got some snacks, and got me a big ass glass of Kool-Aid. I'm talking about the biggest, just big, dumb glass of Kool-Aid I had made. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna this up. So I took it to the room and I fell asleep. I got full, fell asleep watching Rick and Morty. Woke up, I was thirsty, my cup was on the floor. Shit, I'm finna drink this Kool-Aid. So I goes to drink it. And when I drink it, I felt something go down my neck. And after moments of analysis and just thought of like, what the could this have been? Um, hmm. And it hit me. A roach. So what do I see? I look in the um, um, in the cup and it is another one in there. But I didn't get that one. I ate the friend. I took a big ass swallow for the friend. Sad part about it is I didn't know what the it was and I didn't taste nothing until I felt it. And then I thought about it and I immediately tasted that bitch. And it tasted like old wood and cigarette ashes and hurt pain. It didn't taste like nothing with a monetary value. No type of in money, it just tasted like broke, and it wasn't cool. That was like the worst experience of my life. That scarred me. That really hurt me, and it did me so wrong. I wasn't good at it no more. I don't think I can take it right now. <laughs> Tiffany, hold up. I need to check on something real quick. What the hell is he doing out here on my property? I need to know that right now. Hey man, what you doing? I'm about to kill myself. Oh shit! Hold up, buddy. Don't do that. I got something for you right here. You can't be doing that. You. You know what? See, I was gonna try to help you, you crazy shit, but fuck that bitch. Don't be dying on my property. This ain't no fucking Discovery Channel. Everybody can't afford that shit. You insane. What's good, B Squad, man? The old me just died, but you know, the real me is here, the one that really matters, and I can't really go nowhere because I'm too determined to y'all. We got too much people to roast and too much savage shit to go on in the world, so I can't be out here dying and passing away and shit. But he dead in a month, and I'm still alive, so let's go. As y'all know, man, my whole career has been nothing but money, drugs, girls, cars, and all type of stuff. I Houses, everything three million dollar matches everything you know how we doing it man ten thousand dollar shoes this has been my whole life and I'm sorry that I have been only putting that stuff on camera and haven't really put me on camera or put me in the world first in the dirt the world and me personally deep down on the inside I feel like I owe y'all more because showing off all these racks does not attest to my talent or what I'm good at doing which is making people happy all over the world and well look as far as what I should be doing responsibly I feel like the haters is talking too loud, I can hear them. Ah, we gotta fix this shit. Oh, hold up. Okay, we did it. We took care of the haters, man. We got it out the way. Now we can go in the house and wrap this shit up. Ooh. Dealing with them motherfuckers is something serious. Go. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> it's a lot of work to watch yourself Ooh. and die and have to beat up haters at the same time. This shit Ooh. takes really good time and patience and a lot of creativity, if you know what the Ooh. I'm saying. Next. 
The good news is I'm quitting comedy to make nasty tapes. I wanna be one of them people that film nasty tapes. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. Hey, I got a video in my head that I want to make. It's actually a story time video, and it's about uh, the first time I ever smoked a roach. And I'm not lying to y'all. Like I say, I only smoke weed, so you know, when you smoke weed, you have to grow your own stuff. And um, yeah, that somehow became a thing. It wasn't actually an option. It was like a, a f up, a worldwide huge f up. And it just, oh man, I, I don't think I have ever been wrong. I think that's why I'm doing YouTube videos, because I have literally fully taken on a roach wing or some shit. But hey, if y'all want me to tell that video, man, drop it down in the comments. Everybody drop Roach Wing in the comments and I'll do that video soon. But with that being said, I'm out, man. Love y'all. New video coming soon and nothing else to be said, so...